Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show in sports, at least during a pandemic. It's Chomps Live Breaks. Just past 9 p.m. in the East, 6 p.m. in the West, and 8 p.m. in the beautiful state of Arkansas, home of Chomps. We've got a big doubleheader on tap tonight, and it starts with cracking this beautiful new case of Gypsy Queen. The Big Show starts next. And with that, we say hello and good evening. Welcome to Chomps Live Breaks. I am your host. My name is Chomps. It's Thursday, June 4th, 2020, and we've got another big show on tap for you tonight. Our Thursday night doubleheader begins with 2020 Tops Gypsy Queen. We are going to crack a half case of this wonderful product. That's five of the ten boxes. And boy, this stuff is absolutely loaded. I'm going to tell you about it in a minute. Uh, after this show, we are also going to crack into a new case of 2020 Panini Select. And you guys know, I don't have to tell you, those that were with us on our half case breaks the last, uh, last few nights, absolute fire coming out of that stuff. We're going to do third case breaks of this product starting tonight, which means we will crack four of the 12 products those auctions will end, start closing in about an hour. I see some action in the chat. We're a little early than, earlier than normal tonight. A lot of times we do 8.30, 9 o'clock shows, so I'm sure you guys are going to start trickling in. Spiffy's here, says hello, Spiffy people. Danny Morgan, hello, Danny. Good to see you. Thank you for joining in and for being a part of our chat. Michael Spellman, so I want to start this show. I didn't really get to publicly uh, share my appreciation for something that Michael Spellman did. All of you know that are regulars, you know Spellman. He's a great, great contributor of the show, of the chat. Just a great guy to have around. Well, he sent a package in to us for Cat and I. For those that are new, Cat is our other breaker here. And um, amazing, amazing uh, uh, package he sent us with a handwritten letter, which is wonderful. Uh, he gave us two of these. These are airborne patches, and these are not just airborne patches. One each, one for, you'll see mine says Chomps, the other says Cat. These are not just patches. I understand them to be his, his patches, which mean the absolute world uh, to me. So I'm going to keep this in my background uh, along with my Chomps, a big bite uh, spiffy that Spiff created for us. And uh, Michael Spellman, seriously, uh, we, we get gifts regularly. And, and then please, no, you don't have to ever send us a gift. But we're so thankful for those um, because we just get to connect with you guys. And we like to send you gifts and, and random little things that we do. It just helps us better connect with you guys. And I think that, uh, that that's awesome. And, and this one is just special. We thank him for his service. I, I, yeah, he just confirms. Those came off my old uniforms. Dude, uh, I, I literally have chills right now just uh, holding this. And, uh, and what, what this patch has seen and been a part of, and I just cannot thank you enough uh, for sending this my way. We will treasure these, and uh, I thank you, my brother. Thank you so much for that. Very, very excited. Uh, Pat is in the chat. Uh, Pat, we do not have any unsold teams. Uh, I'm not sure if you were initially on the Braves. We had a, a non-payment situation with five minutes left. Uh, we were able to sell that team off, so uh, I'm, not, uh, I'm not able to give that to you, unfortunately. But um, sorry about that. Uh, if, if that was, in fact, you, uh, just make sure and get in. The auction, say, 15 minutes prior to the payment has to go in, and uh, we were able to sell that off. So uh, anyway, get a little business out the way there. Appreciate that. Uh, Pat, you said I paid last night. Uh, not for this, my friend. Are you, you not, This Atlanta Braves team break ended just a little bit ago, so I don't know what you're referring to, dude. Um, send me a message. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry you're upset, but the uh, the winner of that auction this afternoon did not pay, and we sold it off. So anyway, all right, so let's go ahead. Yes, Spellman, uh, your pleasure to serve. It's uh, guys like you and, and, and women as well, obviously, 
the members of our military we are so thankful for and so grateful for and uh, appreciate that. Um, all right, cool. So let's go ahead and get this started. Spellman wants to apologize right away. So I was going to make a little joke too, Spellman. I almost don't feel like it's appropriate now that I that I talked about your, your patch and everything else. But uh, uh, so 15 out of 30 teams, 15 out of 30 teams uh, Spellman got. And I was going to make a joke that I'm going to have to send him some grocery money. Maybe I'll do a little uh, Walmart pickup thing for you, Spellman, uh, just to make sure the Spellman household eats to, eats in the next week or two. Uh, no, that's great. I know you love Gypsy, and we don't have a few. We only have it a couple more cases of this. I think maybe even just one more case. It's this one and one more. So, and when this is done, we're probably we're probably well, it might be fourteen. I had I think I had fifteen here. Maybe it's fourteen. I just counted like this, so I probably counted wrong. But uh, when our when our cases are done uh, with Gypsy, it's probably it. I do have a twenty nineteen Tops Gypsy Queen. A case coming in. I wanted to try that with you guys and just see if you liked it. That's pretty cool. So uh, we will get into that. But yeah, as far as 2020 goes, that's uh, this will be a wrap uh, with the case after this one. Probably about mid June we'll be done with these. So we will enjoy it. In the meantime, Pat, I'm sorry. I I don't want you to take your business elsewhere, brother. But uh, I I didn't know that was you, and I didn't crack last night, so I didn't know that you paid. Definitely don't mean to upset you by any means. Um, sorry about that. Not not trying to upset anybody, but the rules are the rules, and I I don't I don't know you. I don't know you as a regular, so I'm sorry. But uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get into our starting lineups. Okay, it was 15. Nice. Yeah, it was probably the Nats. You got the Nats there at the end. Was probably the uh, the fifth the fifteenth team. Uh, Diamondbacks. Tyler Q. You've got the D-backs. Braves. Easton C. With that one. Bill K. You've got your Orioles. The Red Sox goes out to Sean S. Cubbies, Rory C. You've got your Cubbies. Uh, where's JD tonight? I don't even see him in the chat. I don't know if she's going to join us or not. Uh, Joshua P. You've got the Cincinnati Reds on a Kenya watch. Michael S. P. Of course. Uh, I, I usually put Michael S. for Michael Spellman, but uh, Michael S. P. will be Michael Shortprint. Okay, I called you that last time. Let's just keep it keep it going. Got some nice cards. Shortprint got the Rockies. Kyle S, you've got the White Sox. Of course, that's Sacinto. Yeah, it's actually a pretty good deal on the White Sox, Sacinto. So happy to have you back in the chat. Uh, Michael Shortprint with the Tigers. Chris K with the Marlins. Astros to Michael. Uh, I think he's got this whole next row, which is kind of cool. He's done that before. He still holds our record for most teams in a night. I actually wondered if you were going to beat it tonight. He had 19. I think it was tribute one time, but 15 this time. So this whole row, brrr, Royals, Angels, Dodgers, Brewers, Twins, Mets. Yes, Michael Shortprint going to do some big things. I knew you were going to get your Yankees. And actually, Yankees uh, Yankees didn't go for as much as I thought they would. Uh, once people pick up on it's a Spellman night, they might just try to bump you up just to bump you up, but they didn't. Uh, good deal on the Yankees there, Spellman. Uh, A's, of course, uh, on AJ Puck watch. That's pretty cool. Uh, Phillies, Ben B, James R, you've got the Pirates. Melinda T, not sure if that's a new name for us. Melinda, if you're in the chat, absolutely say hello. Josh W with the Seattle Mariners. Good luck on your Mariners. Giants and Angela C, good luck on your Giants. Cardinals, Michael Shortprint. Daniel M, you've got your Rays. Linda H, you've got the Texas Rangers. And Mr. Spellman has got the Blue Jays and the Nationals. Bill K says, anyone glitchy or just on my end? If it's not on my end, and if it's on yours, what helps me is just closing out and then coming back in. So uh, that that a lot of times uh, takes care of it. Plus, it catches us up. There's a little bit of lag, and uh, sometimes I just close out and get back in just because, because it, you know, I'm 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 there at the at the earliest. So, all right, we are going to get into this case. I'm going to gently move my amazing patch here to the side, as well as my amazing Chomps Big Bite here off to the side and we are going to get into this case of course this is always my favorite part this is the greatest sound in breaking this is getting into and i was like show for transparency oops that's real close uh brand new case 2020 gypsy queen for those of you product watchers there it is 10 boxes in the case 24 packs per box let's uh let's get into this enjoy
Cat does this a little different, and I kind of like the way that uh, the cat does this. He actually, he actually plays his music and everything while he unboxes. I, I don't do that. I kind of like his way better. So Sinto says they may have made a mistake. That case was supposed to go to his house. You know, I, uh, I sent it there. And uh, for some reason, they I guess they put the billing address with the shipping address, and it just didn't get to you this time, Sacinto. Doggone it. Maybe next time. Um, I'll flip these when we decide which side we're going to go. But um, that's what they look like. Beautiful 10 boxes in that fresh case. Uh, we're going to roll some dice. I was able to score us some more dice. You guys know that... Uh, been having to use my phone a little more than I'd like for dice rolls and things because uh, somehow those Yahtzee dice walked off. But then I realized in a Yahtzee in a Yahtzee game, isn't there like five dice? I'm like, wait, I only grabbed two. So I grabbed two more. That game is going to be absolutely worthless now. Uh, and what we're going to do is we normally do to decide which side we're going to work with. As we do, we're going to go left side even number, right side odd number. You guys are good with that? Let me bring this camera down so you see better what's going on. Best of luck. We're going to decide your fate and the fate of the next show as well. Four and a three. That looks like a seven. Not great with math, but that's also an odd number. Typically, I roll even numbers. I don't know if this is good or bad. So we are going to keep the right side since that was our odd number side. And I am going to get rid of these. Sacinto, so uh, maybe these will be coming your way. Uh, but I would not hold your breath on that. I'll see what UPS wants to do. Um, don't hold your breath, but you never know. You never know. <laughs> what goodness may await you in the mail? When you see a chomps package, it's normally just cards that are already, you know, already broke. But that's all right. That's all right. Well, let's set these up a little bit more aesthetically pleasing, because I can't look at them that way. Upside down just ruins me. Sacinto so says, if not, you may need to switch to FedEx. <laughs> yes, sir. Always trying to get better. Always. Uh, those of you that may not know about FedEx, I always say this when I think of FedEx. Did you know there's a little arrow? There's a little arrow. Look at the FedEx logo. There's an arrow. Uh, may not have noticed it before, uh, but there is an arrow in their logo pointing to the right so they can continue to focus and, and be uh, in on the right direction. Don't know if you guys were familiar with that. When I first heard that, it blew, it blew my mind because I didn't notice there was an arrow in the FedEx logo, and now I can't not see it whenever I uh, I look at the logo. So if you get a second, if you didn't know that, Google it. You'll never see it another way. Uh, Tyler Q says, any chance I can get a box from tonight? Heck yeah, you can. Let me make a note of that, my buddy. Let me find you here. Oh, you didn't get a team, did Oh, yeah, you did. You got the D-backs. Gypsy box. You bet. Any of you that want uh, a Chomps team signed, I get myself, Mrs. Chomps, Cat, Mouse, and now Baby Shark uh, are, are in our shipping department. Everybody signs a box. So if you guys want one of these game show used boxes, you are welcome to request one, and I will put it in your order, no charge. We'll just flatten it and sign it, and it'll go out. Sacinto, so same way. I got you, bud. Gypsy box. Didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, any show. Any show you can request it, man. You certainly can. We, we actually signed some ahead of time, too, when we open these, uh, just so that we can make sure and have enough in case this stuff gets thrown away or whatever. But it'll be it'll be tonight's uh, for sure. Matthew J., welcome, buddy. You did miss the team roll call. You did. But uh, you will pick up real quick on the fact that Spellman has half these teams. Just telling you. That's all I'm going to say about that. Yeah. So cool. So what we're looking for with Gypsy, you guys know how much I absolutely love this product. You will get two on-card autographs per box. We've only been Bowman once out of however many cases we've done, meaning one auto in a box. Hate when that happens. It is an on-average thing, and we do call it getting bowman based on our Bowman hobby or Bowman Jumbo experience. Uh, but that is not the only thing that we worry about here or look for. We are all about some short prints, man. Gypsy's got some of the coolest short prints in the game. You can get the missing nameplate. You can get the logo swap, Jackie Robinson Day, Players Weekend. 
There are legendary cards. In fact, any other cards, uh, any of the cards in the checklist that are over 300, card number 300 is considered a short print. So I will walk us through this as we go for those that are maybe a little newer to the product. But I am stoked to get back into this. It is going to be a fun break, and then we get into a new case of Select. I always forget there's a second seal here we've got to open. There we go. Here's what your box looks like. Sacinto, um, I don't think we pulled a Lubob auto out of these yet, and we haven't pulled a Trout either. The Trout drought continues, as I call it. Uh, Spellman hopes that um, we pull Trout tonight. Yeah, and I'll, and I'll definitely root for some Lubob for you. Um, this is one of the cool things about these boxes. So we get our 24 packs, but they also give us the three chrome cards inside. It's a box topper, and we have done really, really well with these in the past. And uh, all three cards are going to be chromed, and we might get some short prints out of that. Really cool stuff. So I'm going to set this off to the side as I normally do. You can still see it in view. But we are going to uh, unbox these 24 packs, and we get to do five boxes of this together. It's going to be a lot of fun. One little tip or one little hint, if you will, about Gypsy. Tops is very consistent with where they put our hits. You will find the hits on the fifth card per pack. And I'm glad that they're not actually sprinkled around because you really have to look at them sometimes to catch some of these short prints. And uh, yeah, it makes it easy just to worry about one card per pack instead of all of them. So as you can see, beautiful clean logo, uh, beautiful cards. These are uh, cardboard cards, but they're very, very uh, sturdy. It's very cool. Uh, Trey Mancini here. Mitch Hanniger. Oh my gosh, look at this. Right out the gate, we get a hit. That's an auto. That's one of our two autos. Wow. And see, Gypsy will sprinkle them. They, these autos aren't like Donruss where we kind of know where, uh, where they're going to be. That is not the case. So guys, we have got a hit right away. There's an Acuna base. Real nice there. Excited about this one. Spiffy says one pack in, first hit. I'm going to take a little peek at this. <laughs> oh, if this is a sign of how the show's going to go, you're in for a treat. Oh, check it out. Here we go. <laughs> Look at this, baby. The top rookie in the class. Blue ink on card auto. And we have got yet another Jordan Alvarez, Sacinto, right on with that one. First auto of the night. Look at that beautiful card. Wow. Very impressed with this one. Houston Astros goes to Michael Shortprint tonight. Right out the gate strong. Oh boy. Of course we top load all these autos for you. As well as some of the better short prints and legends. Our first, first pack, first hit, is an instant candidate for Chomp's Big Bite of the Night. This is the time where we will decide at the end which card was our favorite. And uh, that's going to be hard to beat. Got the Yordan. Nice. Good start, Spellman. Yeah, yeah. I saw above, was it Noah, I think, said something about the, the blue packing tape. Yeah, I'm looking at that. Uh, we go through a ton of packing tape. I know it's kind of hard to uh, get your packages open with that. Uh, we can't obviously blue tape everything. It's not strong enough. So we're trying to figure out just where we want to use that blue tape. Um, we like the packing tape because it keeps your packages pretty, pretty secure. And I always say I'd almost would rather have you guys a little frustration getting it open, but it's safe, um, as opposed to it not being safe. So... Uh, definitely going to consider that. Just not sure where I'm going to use the blue tape yet. Robel Garcia is a rookie card there for your Cubbies. David Dahl, Noah Syndergaard, and B Squared, the Assassin, Bobby Bradley. Our fifth card there was a uh, was the Cub uh, Garcia. And I will check at the end for Bazooka Backs, but for those that don't, for those that don't know, uh, Bazooka Backs are a thing here as well. So Sinto says, I think I got scotch tape for you guys yesterday. Maybe. Or today. Maybe. We use all different kinds of tape based on whatever we, we need to do with it. Nomar Mazzara, Travis Darno, Carter Kaiboom, Austin Hayes. 
Our fifth card is going to be Eugenio Suarez blowing that big bubble gum there. Don't see anything different. Oh, <laughs> well, this is kind of a nice start. Eugenio Suarez didn't see anything different up front, but check it out. The bazooka back. How about that? Normally, you just see a handful of these per case. So, um, yeah, loving it. Loving this one. Let me uh, top load this one for you. Cincinnati, Joshua P., you have got our first bazooka back tonight. Hopefully one of, I'd like to get at least two or three if we can, in one of these half case break shows. I didn't think about that, Bill. The double bazooka. He's, he's, he's chewing on the bazooka gum. You're right. Spellman wonders, could this be a hot box? Who knows? Started off real hot before. Nice. All right, let's keep it going. Oh, I got more cards to look at. Josh P., that is great. Love it, and an Aaron Judge. Josh is hoping for an Aquino bomb next, please. I'm in on that. You know I love me some Aquino. I would absolutely dig that. Danny Jansen, Yamamoto rookie for the Marlins. Chris Bryant, our fifth, is going to be Mr. Joey Bats. Joey Votto there. Don't see anything different. Some things you're looking for is the logo is going to look different. Missing nameplate here. Jackie Robinson's number somewhere on here. The uh, dual black jerseys, usually the Players Weekend, and of course our bazooka back. Not there. Not every fifth card, obviously, is going to be a short print. I think it's one in every three packs. But um, nice to get those when they come out. Love opening this stuff. Matthew J just got a message. Heritage from last night's being shipped. Yep. Got uh, Baby Shark and Mrs. Chomps in the shipping center right now doing big work for you guys. Trying to stay on top of it. Tyler Q is feeling a nice Alex Young auto. Heck yeah, man. Glaber. So this is going to be a fortune teller. You're going to notice these cards are a little bigger than half the size of a card. See, it's like that. Uh, typically are orange, meaning that they're not numbered. But every once in a while, you'll see one that is. This is kind of a fun insert. And that is uh, going to get us started with Glaber Torres. Michael Spellman's Yankees. Cruz. Jake Arrieta and Ben Attendi saw the message. Am I going to upgrade the camera? Do you not like my camera? Do you not like my setup? I have upgraded my camera. <laughs> not sure what you're looking for, man. Can you see your cards? Yes, you can see them. Man, everybody's a critic tonight. Brandon Dixon, J.D. Davis, Adrian Moron with a J. That's the Padres. Whit Merrifield, our fifth card is going to be Jimenez for Detroit. That's Joe Jimenez. Don't see anything unique about that one, so we'll continue. Trevor Williams, David Peralta, and I say Kikuchi, you say Kikuchi, we all say you say Kikuchi. Mirrors. I am going to think about um, doing some lighting. So I've got this light right here you can see kind of illuminate but I don't have one on the other side and there's only so much room in front of me I got my webcam kind of right in front of me pointing down and I'm thinking about getting some like studio lights up here and maybe another webcam to shoot the whole thing always trying to get better we're a new channel about 45 days in but uh, we just keep trying to upgrade usually it's based on your suggestions too uh, Matt Thice JT Real Muto there's an AJ Puck Love my pucks. Michael Spellman, you're going to have some of these coming your way. Very nice. Susano says, I think it's the internet. It gets a bit grainy from time to time. Yeah, and then, of course, like just about with most cameras, you get that kind of zoom-in issue. That happens. But uh, our internet speeds here are pretty envious, I guess, of most. Uh, very, very high upload and download speeds. So uh, pretty good for breaking, I think. So, Williams Astadio, very nice. So, this is the 17 Chins card. This is the guy called Serial. The uh, Gypsy Queen Tops Company did no favors for him uh, with the way his card looks, and uh, he looks very bloated, and I would be very upset if I was his family that this is the card and the picture that was chosen to represent, uh, you know, their, uh, their ball player. But it is what it is. Mock, welcome, man. 
Got your cards in. Cool. <laughs> go Braves. There you go. Good to see you in the chat. Welcome back. We got select after this. So if you want to try to get in on that, it's a new case we're getting open. Feel free to do so. Matthew J., our treasurer, I'm sure will keep us updated on what's what and when they start. Tyler says, Tortuga for Astadio. I call him cereal. You call him Tortuga. It's all good. We've got another Ham Ham Bam Bam. It's Bryce Harper. Phillies, Ben B., your Harper. This is a insert. This is a tarot card. This is strength. Freddie Freeman. It's kind of what they look like. They've got that colorful back to them. Very nice. Every once in a while, you'll see one of these short printed or autoed. Kind of rare, but this is one of their inserts. And some of these players actually book for quite a bit. They go for quite a bit on eBay, too. And we'll, we'll see several of those per box. Rafi Debers, Lambert for the Rockies. Hope you guys enjoyed the show last night with Cat and Mouse doing their thing. They got some nice pulls. Got some, uh, he did some autograph stuff, and I understand on his next show, which will be Saturday night for us, uh, he's going to surprise you guys with some uh, some Urania news. Here's a Dylan Cease fortune teller. That is a rookie card. Uh, even though it's an insert, you'll see there it says RC at the bottom. Still does make it a rookie card. So Kyle S., that's going to be your rookie card for Cease. Tim Anderson, Castro, and Paul DeYoung for the cards. Todd, it is. First auto came out. And it was a Yordan. It's crazy. Spellman, I can't remember pulling a Armed Forces Day. I sure would like to. I don't think we have, though. Not not to my memory. M maybe. Some, uh, Spiffy probably knows. Spiffy's our Encyclopedia Britannica. Spiffy could actually confirm or deny. And you'll see here we got our first missing name plate of the night. Notice that normally... Oh, look, we got Trout next. Ha! <laughs> That's a nice one to do a comparison. That's the goat. Uh, this one's missing a name plate. So you say, what does that mean? Well, it means it's a short print. This is Seth Brown of the Oakland A's, uh, and it is a rookie card. So when you can get these short prints in rookie cards, really, really like this stuff. Uh, we're going to go ahead and sleeve that one up for you for Oakland. Spellman, you've got this. I'm going to make a separate pile here. I like to do it with the short prints. And we'll see how many we can score tonight. Of course, uh, uh, we've got the, the GOAT, Mike Trout here. Beautiful card. Uh, Cat sleeves those. And I do not, but you know that. You, you know the ongoing feud with the sleeve thingies, as Mouse calls it, that we have here. Spiffy, you got it wrong. You thought it was Simeon. I am so shocked. <laughs> but you got, you, you love you some Loriano. I do know that. I do know that. Kirby Yates. Ugh, oh, this is, I'm not going to say what, uh, what Mouse calls this one, but you guys know she struggles with that last name and she's a nurse. I'll just say it like that. Maybe a, maybe a piece of anatomy. I'll just put it like that. Uh, Keller for the Pirates is going to be our fifth card. Not seeing anything there. Not bazooka so we move on. Sanchez, we've got Christian Yelich there for the Brew Crew and John Means. C. Spellman, you're, you're good looking out, man. Good looking out because you know that we waste a bunch of money uh, with the sleeves for Cat. Uh, Mouse was trying to top load just random stuff last night. Just... I think, they, I think they do it on purpose to me, and they, they just drive me nuts with this kind of stuff. So, you know. Mouse needs a show. There's the Simeon, Spiffy. That's what the Simeon looks like, but you do that. Ketel Marte, Matt Olson, two A's already. Oh, check this out. So, we have got our first short print. Uh, our first uh, short print legend, rather. So, this is Vlad Guerrero Sr., of course. This is, card is going to be uh, greater than 300 on the checklist. In fact, you'll see it's card 310 there on the Vlad Sr. These are all short printed. And every once in a while, we get one that has a missing nameplate or a logo swap. They're really, really cool cards. I do top load these because uh, I like them so much. And uh, obviously Spellman, if you don't want me to, I won't. Uh, I'm gonna, I always top load your legends just because they are a nice short print, but uh, there you go. Sacinto, uh, Spellman's got the Nats. So, of course, anything Montreal comes out, that's the Nationals. Spiffy says, Mouse needs a show. Last name's Mouse. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, here's the thing. If we, if we give Mouse a show, because we've thought about it. We've thought about her doing a full break. Um, it couldn't be a very long product because she will take, uh, and I love her. You know I love her. She's great. But she will uh, struggle with this, uh, with reading the names, you know. 
Yeah, Spellman, I agree. Uh, these are thick cards. So, well, I wouldn't say thick, but they're sturdy. They're sturdy, so they don't really get damaged. Um, signature Archives. Boy, I don't know about that. Uh, Dustin May gets us started. Rookie card there for the Dodgers. Ottavino, we've got my boy Tommy La Stella. Crawford. And our fifth is going to be another fortune teller. This is Paul DeYoung. So Cardinals, Michael Spellman, you've got the DeYoung fortune teller there. There is a Vlad Guerrero Jr. Of course, not rookie year being 20, but second year. Still a very nice base card. Some of us really like Guerrero, and others think he's just another Pablo Sandoval. That was a statement made a while back on Chumps, and I've never forgot it. Can't help but think, is he great, or is he just another Pablo Sandoval? Who knows? <laughs> Todd says, hopefully she won't manhandle him like you do. Good point. I've really tried to work on my on my skills since that show. Not really. Uh, Jesus Lazardo, nice one here. Nice rookie for the Oakland A's. Michael, that's your A's. Got you a Lazardo rookie. Polanco and our fifth is going to be uh, Jalen Davis. That's a rookie card there. Uh, let's see if we see anything. He's got a patch on, uh, and it says 44 in case you're curious. Uh, so not 42, not Jackie Robinson. I don't think he has a Jackie Robinson card anyway. Uh, typically when you see a rookie in that fifth hole, it's just a rookie. Um, but every once in a while you'll see a bazooka back or something like that. So we still want to check. Dylan Cease, rookie there. Christian Vasquez. And, oh, Brendan McKay. Nice Brendan McKay. Tampa Bay Rays and Daniel M. I will sleeve up your McKay, my friend. Love Brendan McKay. One of the top pitching prospects in the class. Good card. Nice one. Keep it running. Yes, Biff, have to be something like Topps Chrome, only five cards a pack. You're not wrong about that. Especially she can't do Gypsy because it doesn't even have the first names. She'd be like, Munya Munoz AP. Munoz, is that good? Is that, it says, it says RC, is that good? It'd be like that. And it's cute for about five minutes, but then I try to put it away. Austin Nola rookie. In, uh, <laughs> in Ciarte for the Bravos. Areza Reina for the Rays. No Lou Bobs yet, Ciceno. It's coming. He's coming. Steven Matz is in the fifth hole there. Don't see anything unique about that one. Check for Bazooka. None there. Albies. Agrizal, rookie for the Tigers. That's it for that one. What is up, Bill? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the show. Excited to get into some Gypsy. Hey, Bill, look at that on the left there. We pulled a Jordan Auto. First auto of the break. How cool is that? Gene Segura, Phillies. The Machine, Albert Pujols. And our fifth hole is going to be a rookie card. That is Justin Dunn. Mariners, Josh W., that's your Mariners. We'll check for the back. Not bazooka there, but nice rookie card. Uh, Alberto, there's Goldie. Goldschmidt for the cards. And Byron Buxton. Yeah, that was first pack, wasn't it, Sacento? That's right, because we said, whoa, an auto in the first pack? That's crazy. Very excited about that. Everybody's hating on Blake Snell a little bit right now. Maybe uh, one of the voices, anyway, slowing things up. But uh, maybe we can at least try to understand their point. I just really want him to pay, play baseball. Brock Burke, rookie. Gary Sanchez, nice base there. Josh Hader, looks like we have some color coming. Yeah, Bill, uh, my favorite, too. I love cracking this stuff. They did go up uh, kind of high tonight. Frankie Lindor. This is a real nice one. You can get these blues in anybody. Uh, so the fact that you score a star is kind of nice. Uh, for the Cleveland Indians, Michael Spellman, you've got this one. This one is going to be numbered uh, to 250. 127 of 250, which makes it the, the, uh, the indigo. The blues will be numbered to 199. So you've got the blue Lindor. I will throw a sleeve on this one since it's numbered for you get that one put up nice blue or uh, indigo in a uh, Lindor rather Sheldon nice and Michael Conforto haven't seen our boy Urania yet I will I am trying not to give away the secret but I, I I will just repeat the fact that last night on cat show he teased an idea of some Urania redemption cards just gonna throw that out there you can imagine he's having fun with the idea of creating some Urania redemption cards Garrett Cole Yankees. In the fifth hole is an auto. We have our second auto of this box, friends. I'm going to set this down. Starlin Castro is going to keep an eye on that one for us. Justin Turner, the Shark, Samarja, and uh, Fran uh, Reyes. 
Cleveland. Don't know that we can top the Yordan, but we can sure try. Let me take a peek. All right. it's a. I think it's a good one. Here we go. Oh, boy. Two big rookies in this box. Check it out. JD is going to be very upset that he missed his Cubbies tonight. I don't think he's even in the chat right now. Maybe he went to bed early tonight, but Nico Horner. Rory C. with your Chicago Cubs, you have scored that beautiful blue ink on-card auto, Nico Horner. Love this card. Gorgeous card. Cool auto, too, from Sacinto. That is a nice one. We've seen plenty here that are not that nice. Some lazy signers here in this class. But uh, this one's cool. Josh says, this box is on fire. Fire starter. Beautiful, Nico. Get that put into the hits recap. So we've got our two autos, but we still have six box or six packs left in this first box. Let's see if we can't get us a couple more short prints. Maybe something nice there. Just to top it off. There's a nice Tatis, second year card. He can hit. He can pitch. It's Shohei Otani. Your Halos. Freddie Freeman in our fifth card is going to be Duggar, rookie card. I forget his first name. Robert Duggar, okay. Robert Duggar, Miami Marlins, Chris K. You've got the Duggar rookie. It's in the fifth hole, so I don't see anything unique about that one. Wasn't obviously bazooka but uh, you've got that rookie coming your way. Hey, JD. Dude, you just missed it. Look. Grr, you missed out on your cubbies tonight. We got a Nico. We got a Nico. How's everything going, JD? Is it, is, it, is it calming down a little bit where you are, or is it still kind of crazy with the, the protests? And, and The protests aren't a problem, but the it's the rioting you had going on around you, hoping that uh, you guys are safe and everything's maybe, maybe settling down, at least on the, the violence front. Our fifth card here is going to be uh, Yinjin Ru, Toronto. Don't see anything with that one. There's another Nico, so we got the auto and the base card in this box. Rory, you got another Nico coming your way. Juan Soto, nice base, and Yoan Moncada. Ooh, Sacento, you're speaking his language now with that blue ink Nico to 99. He just might be interested. Trevor Bauer, Victor Reyes, our fifth hole. Oh, very nice. Notice the coloration difference on this one. This is the black and white. So when you score a black and white, these are actually going to be numbered to 50. And uh, I think every player, again, in the checklist has one. Scott Kingery for the Phillies is number 45 out of 50. So Ben B., your Phillies, you've got a black and white Kingery. Very nice. Let's sleeve this one up for you. In fact, Ben, I'm going to throw a top loader on it. I love these number to 50s. I was able to score. I've got two now. Mike Trout to 50s out of Gypsy. I pulled one and I bought another. In fact, uh, was, wasn't it from you, Nick? I think it wasn't from Nick um, that I bought it from on eBay. And he sent it to me. Beautiful card. Love, uh, love having two now. Two of the 50 in existence. I can live with that. Ah, Sacinto, a Trout Logo Swap. Sick. I've tried to buy a few of those, too. I've got some, some blue and indigos, uh, missing nameplates, stuff like that. I did buy a Trout Bazooka back on eBay, which is really kind of cool. Hadn't pulled one, but I've, I've bought one. Our fifth hole here is another fortune teller. That is going to be Nick Senzel. So Josh P., your Cincinnati Reds, you've got the Nick Senzel there. Very nice. Luke Weaver. Kyle Seeger and Minter. Cool. Yeah, um, they don't sell for a whole lot. Like anything trout, of course, is usually like the best in the market. You can always kind of say, well, what what's gonna be the highest more than likely? It's probably gonna be trout if he's in, you know, whatever whatever series or set that is. And uh, the blues and indigos, they don't they don't tend to sell for a lot just because of the higher print run, a little more common, but you get into the black and whites and the bazooka backs and stuff. Yeah. This one actually does pretty well on eBay. So the star, Mike Trout insert. Beautiful uh, insert there. I will, uh, no, I'm not, well, no, I will. It's an insert. I'll sleeve this for you, Spellman. K 
Cat would be proud. Well, we'll do this one in honor of Cat. How about that? Mike Trout, the star insert. Harrison Bader, Shane Bieber, and Giancarlo Stanton to finish off that pack. Love pulling those short print trouts. When you can find the double variation trouts, whether it is a, you know maybe a logo swap and missing nameplate together. I, I bought a, a Players Weekend trout, too, that wasn't cheap. But anything trout, and I mean, you have double SPs, they are, they are really pricey. As they should be. Fifth hole here, very nice. Ace of Swords, that's another tarot insert. Aaron Judge goes out to Michael Shortprint and his New York Yankees. I know Spellman's a fan of a lot of teams, but he is a diehard Yankees fan. So love seeing Judge comes out. I was, I was really excited when we got to pull uh, the Judge. Not that long ago, we pulled the uh, Gypsy. Uh, I'm sorry, out of Gypsy, we pulled the Bazooka back Aaron Judge Auto to 25. And if you wonder what I'm doing here, I'm just checking the cards that we uh, just went through four bazooka backs we did get one in this box so it's extremely unlikely that there'd be another one in here but uh, for transparency's sake you never know we're gonna we're gonna take a look that is stack two yeah no lou bobs there maybe we can make it up and pull two in one of these other boxes i always say i, I think it's a goal to try to get one per box uh but when you look at the print run and stuff that's obviously not necessarily the case uh but you should end up with a handful of them tonight maybe we can score the the nice redemption for you and won't worry as much about the base cards. <laughs> oh, that was number 8 of 25 from Spellman. I couldn't remember what it was, but we've got that card, I think, featured on our Facebook page. That is uh, one of the better pulls of our new channel here. Excited about that. We still have our Chrome Topper. Love these cards. You get three of them inside. They will all be chromed, and hopefully we get some color out of some of these tonight. Every once in a while you pull an auto, which is just sick, because you're still getting your two in the box. Oh, and we got color right up top. Check this out. You'll see the other two are kind of base, and you've got that gold look to it, and it's a good one. This is Glaber Torres, and this one should be numbered to 50, and it is. Check it out, Spellman, your Yankees. The Torres Gold Chrome Topper, 11 out of 50. This is a very nice card. I'm going to sleeve and top load this one for you, Mr. Spellman. Yep, naturally some jealousy in the chat. Don't blame you. This card is sick. Oh, I don't want to use that one. Got some bigger top loaders here. Let me get rid of these. Get into the right size ones. There we go. Very nice card. Hey, first gold chrome. Nice. Maybe we'll, we'll try to get you more than one tonight. First box magic there. With the Alvarez Auto and the Glaber Torres to 50. I'm going to stick that up on the wall. I love this card. It's a nice card. Good player. Again, sometimes you'll see players that are just kind of eh with these. But to Torres, that's pretty sweet. we still got two more Chrome cards here. Eduardo Escobar for the D-backs is one. Tyler, that's coming out to you. And Shane Bieber for the Indians. Cool. That is just box number one. Ross says, what's up, all? Hey, how's it going, Ross? Good to see you, my friend. Tyler wants a gold chrome Kitel Marte. Yes, sir. That would be sweet. I'm good with it if you are. There we go. Get our chrome topper off to the side here. And we will unbox these 24 beautiful packs. these boxes saved up for those of you interested in those I think I, I think we pre-signed some gypsy boxes but we'll sign these for you we'll give you tonight's game used show used boxes Spellman's calling for it first pack trout auto we had the Alvarez in the first pack of the last box we'll see if there's something to this case maybe we get that first pack auto I usually unbox them the same way so Leba Hilliard Chu Demaret are five holes, not an auto, uh, but it is Christian Yelich, and it's a fortune teller for the Milwaukee Brewers. Michael, that's your Brewers. Nice Yelich there. Thor, the Assassin, and Geo Ursula. Hey, second Dustin May. Very nice. Great prospect there for the Dodgers. Sacinto asks, are there case hits? Yeah, usually. 
Um, we see a lot of nice hits out of, out of this product. There's our first Gavin. Don't be too worried about the Lubob. Uh, don't be worried about the Lubob, Sacinto, because uh, we haven't seen some of these other uh, rookies yet, but we will. They're going to come out. There's a Gavin Lux. Michael, that's a nice uh, Lux for you. Danny Duffy. Oh, look at this. Very nice. In the five hole. The Jackie Robinson short print. Beautiful. Brooklyn, of course, goes out to the L.A. Dodgers. Michael S.P., you have got the Jackie Robinson. What would be so cool is if you get bazooka backed. Wouldn't that be cool? And I always wonder, I say, shouldn't this be Jackie Robinson Day because it's a Jackie Robinson? I don't know if they even do that. Probably not. But uh, nonetheless, nice Jackie Robinson there. We know all those legends that come out are short printed. Yeah, normally, Sacento, we see a, a Lou Bob. Kind of bummed we didn't see the one uh, for you there in that last one. Maybe we can get two and make up for it. Schwarber. All rise, Aaron Judge. And an Eshelman. Rookie there for the Orioles. Munoz, rookie, gets us started for the Pods. Austin Nola. Of course, it's Aaron Nola's little brother. Rookie card. Simba for my Halos. Starling Marte. Our fifth hole is going to be uh, Grandal, Yasmani Grandal for Chicago. Don't see anything unique with that one. Not Bazooka back, so we'll move on. Although I do have some great eyes in the chat. You guys uh, will catch things sometimes when I don't. And if you think you see something, go ahead and call it out. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll stop and, and we'll look back at it. It's one of the things we try not to be a, in a rush on this show. You're going to see all the cards that come out. We're not going to just fly through them. We're going to relax. Hopefully you got a nice, maybe you got some dinner in front of you or a little beverage. Sit back, enjoy the show. That's what it's all for. A little entertainment. So we've got a Philly here. That is Adam Hazley. I don't see anything with this one. Nope. Jake Arietta, Ben Attendee, former Razorback. He's a big, kind of a big deal around here. Ben Attendee was a big bite of the night for us in that uh, archive show that really we could have picked from like 10 different cards. I just, I was a homer on that one. It's not so much that I'm a Razorback fan, but uh, I live here in Arkansas and the Razorbacks are kind of it for us. So if all things equal, I went with the Razorback. How about that? Fifth hole, ooh, here we go. I love seeing that background. Man, it always gets me fired up. You just never know what's gonna be under there. Uh, there's an Aquino, so we'll put our hit down and Mr. Rodriguez is gonna watch over that for us, but uh, at Estetis Aquino rookie, Josh P, you're asking for the Aquino. We'll try to get you an auto tonight. That'd be pretty sweet. But you've got your base rookie there of Edestetis. Aaron Nola and Escobar for the D-backs. But let's see what we've got down here. I always take a peek. Okay, here we go. Best of luck, friends. Texas Rangers, you have scored. Linda H., with her Texas Rangers, has scored the Colby Allard on-card blue ink auto. Very nice. Southpaw there for Texas. I won't proclaim to know a whole lot about this guy, but we have pulled him before. Love these autos. Nice shout-out for the Rangers and getting you a little hit tonight. Way to go, Linda H., your Rangers, and you've got that beautiful auto coming your way. We know that some of these teams, they're just not as stacked as others, right? Some teams just don't have the, the crazy checklist. I'd put Texas kind of in that in that grouping. Um, Bowman went higher than I thought on Texas because of some of their prospects, but you know, your Gypsies and your Donruss and kind of some of the stuff we like to do. There's an Alex Young, Tyler. We'll see if we can't get you an auto at some point tonight of him. Uh, they just, Texas doesn't have that great of a checklist. So I love pulling an auto like that because Linda, you know, gets a deal on the team and hopes for the best and she scores an auto. So that's pretty cool. There's JD, our fifth hole. There we go, Sacinto. Love that Lubob too. It's probably my favorite uh, looking card of all of the rookies. I really think his, is, he, just looks, he just looks tough. He just looks like a great ball player. Luis Robert, that's the first Lubob rookie we've scored tonight. Kyle S., of course, Sacinto in our chat gets his Lubob. Sweet. Matthew J., our treasurer. Thank you, Matthew, for the update because I always forget. 
Uh, 12 minutes, I think that's been up for a couple minutes. So yeah, probably about 10 minutes left, I'd say, until the select bidding uh, gets in motion. We always start alphabetically. So the Diamondbacks, Arizona Diamondbacks, of course, go first. And we cover all 30 teams in 60 minutes. We do them in two minute increments. That way, if you win a team and uh, they're not all ending at once, right? You can go ahead and uh, jump onto more teams if you'd like to. So Diamondback starts in about 10 minutes. That'll be a fun break. That too is gonna be a new case that we're gonna get into uh, together. All right, so we've got a missing signature in the fifth hole. And this is gonna go out to the Orioles. Bill K, I know you're in the chat. That's great, that's a John Means. Very nice pitcher for the Orioles. Missing nameplate, short print. Absolutely dig this card. You guys know I'm a, I'm a, I collect a heritage set. So I'm a fan of the, of the short prints and the variations and things. I don't, I don't want to be too crazy and try to uh, collect both sets at once, but you can bet that Gypsy set is something that I want to collect. I just hope there's enough hours in the day and everything else. Love that missing nameplate means. Bill likes it. It says awesome. Very cool. Yordan, there's a Yordan sighting. First Yordan of the night. So now we're starting to see some prospects. We didn't see as many in the first box, any of those top prospects that we want to see. Coming out now, a little stronger. So Yordan, of course, uh, in the back with his, uh, with his auto there. Followed by, I don't know if I've seen this before, followed by Bo. Look at that, coming strong. Trying to get them all. You guys know, some throw bows, we print bows. We top load bows, we sleeve bows, we ship bows. It's kind of nice, Bo Bichette. Hunter Dozier, our fifth card, is uh, Bryce Harper. That's the Ham Ham Wheel of Fortune tarot insert for your Phillies and Ben B. Alcantara, Gritero, and Jorge Soler. What a year for Soler last year. Always had the power, couldn't quite put it together. And boy, did he ever, 40-some-odd home runs for the Royals. Maybe a, a, a story that you might even not have heard of because of where he plays, but uh, what a breakout season for Soler. Breggy from the Trash Trostros. Diaz, is it? Diaz? Put your hands on the oodles and noodles. Chicken and beef. Chicken. Rookie card. Diaz. Our fifth hole is going to be Brendan McKay, rookie. That is the fortune teller. Very nice. Tampa Bay. Daniel M., this is your McKay Fortune Teller rookie card. Like that one. CC says beef. Spiffy says beef. Soto. Moncada and Michael Brantley, Trastro. Danny likes it. Likes the McKay. What's not to like? Good stuff. Tyler Zoik. Again, we don't know if that's how he says it, but that's how we say it. Rookie card, Steven Strasburg. Mitch Garver, great breakout year for him as well. Our fifth card. Oh, check it out. It's an angel. It's Matt Theis rookie. And look, you've got the logo swap. Very cool. Love this one. Michael Spellman, our angels. Sweet card to stash. I think my, I think uh, Theis is going to be very good. We'll check. I was hoping for like that rare uh, bazooka back logo swap deal there but that's a nice card dude definitely want to sleeve that up for you love it put that in our short prints pile good rookie logo swap there from matt theis there's eugenio suarez without the bazooka back he's not in the fifth hole and another glaber <laughs> spiffy did call beef first it's always been chicken because of that movie blue streak but um you know Maybe maybe one day we'll mix it up for you and just say beef. I, I don't know. We'll have to think about that. Willie Adamas. There's Cole Calhoun. Love Calhoun. Formerly an angel. Spoon says cool and some cold emojis. Yeah, baby. Jake Fraley. Rookies in the fifth hole for the Mariners. Not bazooka backed. Rosario. Patrick Corbin. And Marvell. Rookie for the Pirates. Five minutes left on select. Try to get in on that if you can. Score you some deals. Zach Collins, rookie. 
Oh, looky here. Chris K., you have the Marlins. Chris, if you're in the chat, say hello. If you are new to the show, we will uh, share with you what we do to Urania's. These are your cards. I'm going to just set it back here. We are not going to uh, be rude to them without your permission, but we do destroy Jose Urania cards here. We're not a fan. Spiffy, Loriano. It's not really me that, that does that, I guess, in fairness. It's more of Cat. Here's a Hanley Ramirez. Don't see anything initially there on the short print. Lester, Kershaw, and Chance Cisco. Spellman says, there he is. Uh, he knew he'd come out. I knew it. It's the only thing I don't like about Kraken Gypsy. And, and is, is he in select? I can't remember if he's in select. I hope he's not in select. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh, yeah, Spiff. The printing plate. Dude, the printing plate Urania show is going to be epic. Look at this. Nice fortune teller, Mike Trout. I love it. Very cool. Oh, Chris, are you in? You want another one of one? You may be one of the first. I teased it earlier that Kat is talking about doing some Urania redemption cards for some one of ones. And I, I know what he's going to do. It's going to be fun. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm only saying that much because he said it last night. Um, let's just say it's going to be a good time. You're going to want... You're going to want a... Urania Redemption that you can pull. So uh, if you're good with it, I'll keep those off to the side and I'll give them a cap. And maybe you can score you another one of one, dude, man. Mondesi, Mauricio Dubon, rookie there. No Uranian select. Thank you for checking, Tyler. Matt confirms. Oh, dude, this card is sick. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if you, I've seen it before. I pulled, I think, two of these before. They're actually kind of rare. We've had some good luck with this card. What is it, chat? Tell me what it is. What makes this Pete Alonzo unique? He's in the fifth hole. What is it? I know the chat's going to know. This is a sick card. And I'm a huge fan of this one. Matthew Jones says 42. Spiffy Robinson. Yep, that's right. Check it out. New York Mets. Oh, man, Spellman. This card is sweet. Everyone now coming in with Jackie. How do we know? Look at that number 42. That is the Jackie Robinson day. Gosh, you just, you, you just hope for a bazooka on the back just to be greedy. But, uh, dude, what a sweet hit on that one. And it's the right guy. Pete Alonzo, Jackie Robinson day. Quite rare to pull the Jackie Robinson days. You don't see too many per case. Love this card. Digging it. Matthew J. didn't think he has that one yet. It's another fun set to collect is the Jackie Robinsons. Wow, nice one. Me being a, a set builder, treasure hunter type of guy, you know that one gets me real fired up. I knew what it was right when it came out because we've, we've had a couple others before. Michael says that's number two. Keep it going. Kepler. Sean Murphy, rookie there for the A's. In the fifth hole, we've got a tarot. That is King of Wands, Walker Bueller. Nice one. Colin Moran, JV for the Trastros. And Brian Anderson, nice player for the Marlins. Good show so far. Nice hits. I hope it just stays like this. Just five sweet boxes for your viewing pleasure tonight. There's a Flaherty. Rowdy Telez. Mike Soroka. Our fifth hole is going to be a rookie. That is Ravello for the cards. Not bazooka-backed. Wrangle Rivero. Lorenzo Kane, Chapman, and Seve. Back-to-back -back Yankees there. Spellman likes that. Tyler, I do. He asked you offer combined shipping for breaks on the same night. Sure thing, my man. Um, we try to do it automatically. We try to remember, I guess. Uh, sometimes I have to send those invoices kind of fast. If I forget... And I send you the full uh, the full four ninety nine or whatever it is. Uh, just shoot me a message back, and I'll uh, I'll change it. And if it's getting close to showtime, pay it, and then I'll refund you. You guys know I've sent you guys many refunds whenever that happens. So yeah, as long as it's the same day, we don't mix days because now we're trying to get orders out the next day. But yeah, for sure, save some shipping money, dude, man. Buster Posey, our fifth hole is going to be oh man, sweet. So we've got a, a logo swap, and it's Chris Archer. Pittsburgh Pirates, James R., you have pulled the logo swap, Chris Archer. 
check for bazooka back it's real rare to get double variations although we see it from time to time nice archer on the logo swap congrats james your pirates get that in the short print stack here bill asks is it possible to get a variation card as a chrome you know what? i've not seen that i've not seen that uh just just the short prints right the uh the color and then the autos i've not seen any variations on those chromes i say kikuchi you say kikuchi we all say you say kikuchi mariners mike melanson so Smithy says, the question with being a one-of-one one of a one-of-one, one, make the Urania plate more valuable. It has to. It has to. Because it's already a one-of-one. One. And, and maybe better than that, Spiff, we are ridding the world of what someone might say is a good card, being that it's a one-of-one. One. But you know what's even cooler about that is they use that card to print more Uranias. Think about that. It's a printing plate. We're getting rid of the printing plate. No more Urania cards. He's probably going to blow that one up for you. I love that idea. Fifth hole is Tommy Edmond for the cards. He's got little patches on, so I'd like to double check, make sure none of those are Jackie. I don't think so. Didn't see one there. Mike Miklas. Serial, coming back out. Seven chins, Mr. Astadio. And a trash row that we care not to mention. No more printing plates of Urania. We will get them, we will buy them, and we will destroy them. Just wish we can get them up front. That'd be better. On the front end, so they can't print the cards in the first place, right? Logan Allen, rookie for the Indians. Trevor Story for the Rockies. Nice Miggy there for the Tigers. Fifth hole, it's an auto. Here we go. Here we go. Sacinto says, if number is showing, remember it would be 42. Not necessarily, my man. Not necessarily. A lot of times they'll still show the number... Um, sometimes, um, sometimes it's on their like uh, on their jersey or their. We've seen them on their feet on their shoe. Uh, the number forty-two. It can be a little bit of a mystery to find them. Treasure hunting, right? Treasure hunting. Uh, TQ asks, "Is it just me, or does a Miggy look different?" I think that all the time. Um, but no, that is his. It is kind of weird though. Look, he's got that R, like he's wearing the, you know the jersey underneath the jersey almost and then a, and then a black shirt underneath the blue jersey underneath that it definitely looks different but it's not uh it's not rare it's a base card all right looking for this auto here here we go best of luck it's a dodger and it's will smith very nice catcher for the dodgers See, he looks like a grown-up in this picture. Those of you that follow our Heritage Breaks, he looks like he's seriously 12. But he looks like a grown-up in this one. Will Smith, kind of a boring auto, but nonetheless, it is his auto. We like this one on card, blue ink. I'm going to go ahead and sleeve this one up for top load this one for Mr. Spellman and his, his uh, Los Angeles Dodgers there. Nice. Oh, good, MJ got the Braves. That's what I'm talking about. Getting his Braves. Digging it. I made someone real upset earlier. You guys saw it in the chat. Someone didn't pay. And he wanted the Braves. He didn't get the Braves. Sorry. So I guess he said he's taking his business elsewhere. He was, he was angry with me. Don't guess he bid on the Braves in select. You had one less, one less bidder going against you. Yu Chang is going to be Indians there in the fifth hole. That's a rookie. Not Bazooka. No short print there. Boyd. Abreu and Mats. Oh, Tyler, you got the D-backs, huh? There you go, dude. You gotta try to score your reds if you can. Yeah, both breaks. Let's get some Diamondbacks. You bet. Kyle Lewis, rookie. That's a nice one there for the Mariners. Zach Gallen. Nice. Couple rookies. Our fifth hole is gonna be... Oh, actually, I actually think that's the fourth hole. Here's the fifth hole. Uh, that was Tim Lopes, by the way, a rookie for the Mariners. We've got a fortune teller. Very nice, Asinto. It's a Lubob. Okay, so two boxes in. We got one base and now one insert rookie. So maybe kind of sort of catches us up on the Lubob total. Very good. Like that one. On Lubob, watch for Asinto tonight. Devers, Lambert, and the GOAT, Mike Trout. 
Sinto says picking up. That's right. Got it. Got always got his eye on the Lou Bobs when you got the White Sox. Kylie didn't get it tonight. Kylie's not in the chat. I don't think either. I want to focus in on me. It's because Matthew made fun of my camera earlier. Oh well. Uh, Brock Holt gets a star. Ooh, we've got. Okay, look at this. What do you guys know about that color? That is going to be extremely short printed. You'll see here how short here in just a minute. Very low serial number coming. I'm excited. Austin Dean. Rosario. Alzale rookie. Yeah, you guys know. You know your gypsy products. Who is it going to be? Oh, I'm excited. Here we go. <laughs> it would be an angel. Tommy LaStella, all-star last season for the Angels. Check it out. You said five. It's ten. It's five on the chromes. You're thinking of the chromes. Eight out of ten is all. Whoa, looks good on red, Sacinto. Check it out. Only to ten. Oh, that's sweet, dude. Love seeing that. Again, eight out of ten. Yeah, you were close. Close. You had the right idea. It's the chrome reds. The chrome reds are only to five. We pulled some of those, too, in the past. I'm going to top load this beautiful one for you. Yes. Love seeing the reds come out. Obviously, it's hard to get. Very excited about this one. Bill K says another good box. Sure is. We're still fire here. Looking like a good case. They're all good cases. Let's be honest. I'm going to stick that on a stand. If we have to ration our stands later, so be it. But uh, for now, the red La Stella absolutely goes on the stand. Spellman's got a clean sweep at this point of what's up there. Very nice. Three big bite chances already in the first two boxes. The Jordan Auto, the Glaber Gold Chrome to 50, right? And then the uh, La Stella to 10. Very nice. Our fifth hole here is going to be the star, Cody Bellinger uh, tarot there. Lorenzen, Jose Ramirez, and a Sanchez. Keep it going. Keep it going. We got a chrome pack coming up here in a minute. Brandon Woodruff, Ty France, Nick Solak, rookie for the Rangers, Austin Meadows. Our fifth hole here is going to be Santander for the Orioles. Not seeing anything there. Not bazooka. Samarja, the Shark. Reyes, there's another Nico. Love the Nikos. They almost look extra painted. Obviously, they're all the all these cards are kind of like like paint like little paintings. But that one, I love the coloration there in his pants. Kind of that purple, making it look like uh, you know it's bending. Really a cool rookie card. Love what they did with the Nikos. Let me quickly check these for our bazooka backs. You know what? I didn't. I, I would hate to pull a Urania bazooka, but I feel like I need to check that one too. Not a bazooka, thank God. We could not, uh, we could not uh, destroy it with a good conscience. Catwood, I, I would feel uncomfortable with that. You'll see these color, but that's the back of a of a tarot. It always throws me off thinking I got a bazooka. Hey, Justice, good to see you, dude. Bob Ross status from Sacinto. True story. <laughs> these little paintings. I'm going to add a little tree. I'm going to add a little river. Bob Ross, what a legend. <laughs> Travis said I'd still let it go. Ah, true, I mean, we are going to blow up a one-of-one -one printing plate, so really, I mean, am I that concerned about a bazooka back? Craziness. I'm going to do something extremely unprofessional. Go grab a drink or the restroom. That was my doorbell. That's cases that we need. They're in the they're in the shipping center. Guys, hang on one second. Oh, she got it. Don't get a drink. Don't go to the bathroom. Just kidding. She got it. Literally, we've been playing back and forth with UPS on a box of cases that you know you have to be present now for this stuff. Uh, signature required. They don't even get a signature. They just have to look at you. So if I'm in here or in the shipping center and sometimes I don't hear it, that happens. Did not want to miss out on the cases. Yeah. Yeah, Matthew J., we're family. We can do that sort of stuff here. Try not to take advantage of that, but 
Jacinto says delivery at nine o'clock. He even just said to my wife, he said, uh, "Sorry, we're a little, we're kind of late tonight." <laughs> Let's do our chrome. I'm just glad he made it. Color right out the gate. Like to see that. This is uh, another blue in color. Justin Turner. We'll see if it's an indigo or a blue. That's the Dodgers. Michael, this is yours. And this one is to 150. So this one is going to be the indigo. The indigo is to 150. The blue on the chromes are to 99. Good way to remember this. You can almost cut that original short print number in half. If the math works out, it's probably halvesied. Otherwise, uh, it's like this. You remember that the indigos and the base set are to 250. So instead of 125, they went 150 and they went 99 on the on the true blue. So indigo, indigo uh, Turner here on the chrome. Nice one. Josh Bell and Jose Barrios. Never seen, you know, like you talk about the variations. I've never seen the variation of the chrome. Maybe somebody can research that for us. I don't think they do them. I just think with as many boxes and cases as this we've cracked, we probably would have seen them by now. Yeah, Justice, that break was really good for Donruss. The Ortiz relic. I was looking at the pictures. I threw them up on Facebook today, and as I was going back through them, you guys know I was kind of in and out of that break because I was doing what Cat calls busy work, trying to trying to close out the month of May. That's always fun to do. We had we had a fun fact. We had twenty two hundred transactions in the month of May, and it's not that I have to go through each one, but they do have to all be accounted for. So I spent most of today. I did list us some auctions. That's part of my my stuff I do every day, uh, since we're a seven day a week show now. But outside of listing auctions. It was really just about um, closing out the month of May. So I missed, I wasn't in that show completely, but putting the pictures up, I couldn't believe, I forgot how much nice stuff he pulled out of that. Box three out of five. We're doing well right now, we're cruising. Stalmont, Newman, Trevor Bauer, Reyes, our fifth hole is gonna be a trash throw. This is gonna be Jose Altuve. Don't see anything initially unique. Oh, Spellman. Even though I hate the trash throws, you got a really good one here. Look at this bazooka back. You can hate him if you want. Altuve is still super collectible. Check out another, another bazooka back. Just our third box. What is that, our first pack? Our first pack in? Boy, we're having some first pack magic. Altuve. I love this card. It's the Buzzer Bazooka Parallel, the Cheaters Edition. Again, you see bazookas with all kinds of players, but when you get someone who's more considered a star, I think we can still call him a star. I think enough people dislike him, though. Maybe you wonder, but uh, that is the Bazooka Altuve. Sick. Yeah. Bill, that's, that's gross. I love it. I'm going to scoot your Uranio over because I'm going to put this up on the wall. I like this one. Yeah, Tyler, um, it's got, it does, I was wondering why when I pulled it, it gave a little jolt. Uh, one, one jolt was uh, Bazooka Bat, two jolts was for a missing nameplate, three jolts was for Logo Swap, uh, and, it, and, it, and four, four jolts is nothing, and it gave me the one jolt. So um, Altuve still cheating, even in the, the card world, uh, with the one jolt Bazooka Bat. <laughs> Austin Riley, Jake Rogers, Mookie, still in, still in a Boston Uni here. Corey Seeger, our fifth hole is going to be Yelly, that is a fortune teller, Christian Yelich. Corbin, Marvel, and Berrios for the Twinkies. Sacinto says, robbing my Yanks of a chance at the World Series. You are not alone in feeling like that. Uh, I was happy to see the Nationals win uh, last year, but uh, of course, weren't we even happier uh, after the fact once we found out what was really going on? Fifth hole is the ultimate legend. I think the best legend in the entire set. That is the great Bambino. Short print, New York Yankees. Mr. Spellman, I love this card. I've got one of these in my personal collection. Digging the Babe Ruth short print. That is number 301. He starts the checklist. He starts, as he should, the short print checklist for Gypsy Queen on those legends. Beautiful card. 
Yeah, it, Spiffy, it is a it is a really nice card. And it just to me, that's how I think of Babe. Kind of chunky, right? Checking out one of his bats, a little sloppy, but I mean that's Babe, man. That's the Babe. Very nice. Put that one off to the side for the hits recap. Yaz, Guriel, and Moran. Eddie says the blue pops. True story. Kyle Lewis for the Mariners. Justin Smoke. Kind of getting traded around, Smoke is, but a good power hitter. A little streaky. Too streaky for my liking. Sonny Gray. Our fifth hole is going to be Mitch Hanniger. Not seeing anything initially unique. Probably not going to be bazooka because we did just get one, but we'll keep checking. JV, Brian Anderson, and another Bubblegum Suarez. It's got to be my favorite picture on these cards is that big old bubble he's blowing. That's a nice shot. Trastro Grinky, Logan Allen rookie for your Indians. Cabrera, Garrett Hampson, our fifth hole. It's going to be another rookie. That is uh, Rubel Garcia for the Cubbies. We'll check for backs. Not there. Stroman, Torres, and Lester to wrap us up there. About a quarter of the way into bidding for select. Still plenty of time. I'm trying, Tyler. we got to get you an Alex Young tonight. It is on the checklist for us. It's the to-do list. Jesus Lazardo, Brendan Rogers. David Price. There we go. Is a Gavin. Nice Gavin. Another Gavin rookie. Spellman, that is, of course, your Dodgers. Nice Lux. Matt L., welcome to the chat. That is a Yonder, dude. That was our first pack. That was our first pack tonight. We got a Yonder Auto. You knew it was going to be a good show. Danny Duffy in the five hole. Don't see a short print there. We've already pulled fire, dude. Glaber to 50 chromed. Tommy Lestella red to 10, and Altuve Trastro bazooka back. We have another bazooka back in there and some great legends. It's been uh, really cool. We're just on to our third box out of five. What a nice break so far. Love that kind of action. Good to see you, Matt. Are you working tonight? Oh, we got a missing nameplate. I believe that's Matt Boyd. It is. Matthew Boyd, this is great. Uh, one of the strikeout leaders last year, a uh, strikeout guy. Uh, had a rough couple years before, but boy, he's put it together, and that's a missing nameplate. So, Michael, you've got another beautiful short print. Nice, nice player on there. Matthew Boyd, missing nameplate. Get that over here in the SP pile. You're working, all right. You're always working, dude. You're a man of the people. Do you ever get days off? I don't know if you, I don't even know if I've ever seen you with a day off. Matt L., you'll be excited to know, and this is probably a good time to tell everybody, I've got a little surprise for us in the next break in Select. My dad, who comes around every once in a while uh, to pop in on the show, Diamond Dave is going to be with us. Our fifth card here is, is uh, Pete Alonzo, Thunder, Insert, Tarot. He is going to actually uh, work on practices breaking with select. Uh, so I'm going to let I'm going to be right here with him, but I'm going to let him start the show and run through starting lineups. And uh, he's going to open up some boxes for us. I don't know if he'll do the whole thing. He he wasn't sure if he was going to do the whole thing, but he actually has a very big announcement. So whether or not you uh, win a team, I would very highly encourage you if you can. 11:30 Eastern, 8:30 Pacific is when that show is going to start. Uh, unless something changes, Diamond's going to be here. I'll talk to him right before the show to confirm with his big announcement. I know, Matt, you know what it is. Luis Castillo is in the fifth hole here. We'll see a short print out of that one. Seeger, A.J. Minter, and Harrison Bader. Yeah, Eddie, no problem. Good. Some of you are pretty excited to see Diamond come back. Houston on the clock for Select from Matthew J. Keep that in mind. Very cool. Oh, I didn't realize that, Tyler, that Diamond was in your first break with us. That's cool. That's cool. He's, he's probably done maybe two. Oh, dude. So I always say the Angels are in the five hole a lot, and they're normally not short printed. But check it out. Spellman, we've got an Angel here. That's Simba. And Drelton Simmons, and that's the logo swap. Cross your fingers on a double. Not a double. 
But that's okay. Very cool. Nice one. I'll sleeve this one up for you. Sacinto, if he makes... I already know the announcement, so I can already tell you that's not it. As an almost 60-year-old man, he'll, by the way, he'll be 60 in August. We'll have to do something for him on the show for his uh, his 60th. But, uh, yeah. I don't, he, he, he's done. He's done. He's done with the babies. His youngest child, my little sister, she's not little anymore, but she's 19. So I'd, I'd say he's done. Uh, Jordan, we got another Jordan. That's beautiful. Cool. Spellman, we'll keep him coming, man. We will keep them coming. I already love that Jordan you, you, you snagged. Actually, you've got all four cards up there right now for Big Bite. Hope to get some more for you. Nola, Harvey. There's another Trout. Look at that. Trout Fortune Teller. Of course, that's the GOAT. That's the best one to have in the series. Shane Bieber, Giancarlo Stanton, and Wilson Contreras. Yeah, Mick Jagger is still having babies. <laughs> but even Diamond would tell you it's a little different. It's, there's some differences in the two, I would say. Brock Holt, Austin Dean, Woodruff, Chris Bryant. Our fifth hole is going to be Joey Votto. Don't see anything there. Nicky Lopez. There's another Trastro Altuve. Nice. Uh, yeah, I think you're right, Sasendo. I, I haven't seen an auto yet so far. Two per box. Coming up soon, I imagine. Keon Wong. Max Muncy. Iglesias. Our fifth hole is going to be uh, Bubba Starling, rookie card for the Royals. Not Bazooka. Acuna and David Dahl. Ty France for the Pods. Nick Solak, Michael Chavis, Iglesias, our fifth hole. There we go, Jean Lubob. Sacento, I think that's number three tonight, if I remember correctly. That's your second fortune teller. One base and two fortunes, right? On the Lubob. You'll take that one. <laughs> Never know, TQ. Hopefully, don't get sniped. Hey, there's a King Yo. Nice one there. Joshua P., your Reds. I believe that is our second Aquino. Love it. You know I'm a fan. Yep, we're at three, Ciceno. Uh This is uh, going to be Mouse's favorite player for obvious reasons. If it'll focus in, you can see who it is. Yeah, there we go. Marcus Semien. Semien, to be clear. Mejia, Shinsu Chu, Travis Demaret, our fifth hole. There's an auto. All right, Demaret's going to cover up this auto. Matthew J says Angels are up next. Not too expensive. Good to know. You want to get on the Halos? Do it. Be pulling together. Spellman's calling for Trout. All right, here we go. Good luck, friends. That is the Assassin. B squared, the B2 bomber. That is Bobby Bradley with the O's. Looks like an M. O's, an M thing. It's, I guess that's a signature. Not too bad. We've seen worse. That's Cleveland Indians. Michael Spellman, you've got the Assassin auto. Let me top load this one. We'll get this in the recap. Nice rookie. Although I think Bobby Bradley's been a rookie for a long time. He's been a prospect for a long time. Hoping he can put it together. Still a lot of promise in that one. Still considered a rookie card. Tyler says the assassin ruining my D-back hit hopes. <laughs> get out of there, assassin. Go do something assassinish. Oh, maybe a little sniping there, Matt. Yeah, it was at 49 bucks, and then it just went to 60 yeah. On the last second. Maybe sniping. I don't know. I don't know if, because if, uh, there's been a lot of select on eBay, I don't know if people are sniping them or not. Springer Thunder, that's the insert there, Tarot. Nola, Escobar, and Logan Webb. <laughs> Tyler's seen a lot of AJ Puck. Love that guy. 
Just his size and everything. Oh, Rob says definitely got sniped on the Angels. That's no bueno. Anthony K, rookie. There's a puck. Very nice. Always like to... Oh, that's right, Michael. We don't have to sleeve up the pucks. I forgot. I like to sleeve them up because I like puck, but yeah. You're not too worried about it. There's our other hit. Cool. We got another auto coming. They were, they were pretty well back-to-back. -back. This box. I like, though, that they do spread it out. You never know where they're going to be. <laughs> Matthew J. Just the treasure. I don't, I don't know, man. Can't, can't answer for everything. All right, here we go. Best of luck, friends. And Tyler gets outbid. Uh-oh. Adbert Alzale. Chicago Cubs. Rory C. Nice on card. Blue ink auto. For your cubbies. And Alzale. Get this one sleeved up for you. Love it. Some good rookies in here tonight. Nice one, Cubs, from Tyler. Rory, that's coming to you, my man. This is the back looks like. I thought it was him because I saw, when I, when I was going to the cards, I saw an A. So I'm, it could it be Edis Edis Aquino? Could it be Adbert Alzale? And look at this. Look at this trash. I already have permission uh, from Chris, so I'm just going to just get rid of that over there somewhere. I'll scoop him up later. I almost tore him in half, but I, I did it at that time. Uh, there we go. There's a McKay. Brendan McKay, Daniel M. That's your Tampa Bay Rays. Nice McKay fortune teller rookie card there. Senzel, Savali, and Dylan Cease rookies. Love chucking the Urania's. Sometimes I'll tear them in half and chuck them. I think Chris would be all right with that. I don't, I don't think Chris would, would be upset with me for tearing up a Urania and chucking it. Maybe that'll be what the... We've got, a, no, we've got two there that Cat can mess with, so maybe if we unfortunately see another one, maybe I can tear that one up and chuck it if he's good with it. Uh, Randy Arizarania is in the fifth hole. That's the Rays rookie. Not a short print there. Vazquez, a nice Brendan McKay base rookie. Daniel M., that's your Rays. Ah, Matthew J. missed those Dodgers again. Same kind of deal. That last second bidding. Oh, good. I got Chris's approval. In a weird way, I want to see one now. Normally, I don't like seeing him. Not the Urania's, but uh, yeah. I'll make, it, I'll make it rain for us. How about that? I may not have all the antics that Cat has, but I can still make it rain on some Urania's. Starlin Castro's in the fifth hole. Not a bazooka. Goldie, Buxton, and Santana. Willie Adamas, Seth Brown, Colome. It's a ham ham. Bryce Harper. Eric Thames, Fernandez, Lindor, and Alcantara. Thames wasn't a short print. Alfaro. Oh, we got color coming up. See that that blue looking color there. Williams, LeMahieu, Kingery, and we've got Marcus Stroman. New York Mets, Michael Short Print. That's your Mets. This one is to 150, so it is the blue. Again, 250 on the indigo, 150 on the blue, and it's paper. Sleeve that up for you and get you a Stroman. Even though you're a Yankee fan, you'll still take the Stroman. Solaire and Tim Anderson. <laughs> Someone bumped you up, Ross. Don't you hate when they do that? I don't hate when they do that, but you guys can hate for that. That's all right. We've got some bills to pay. There's an Alex Young, Tyler. Nice. Alex Young, rookie. Cody B. Yin Jin Ru. Thunder. Trevor Story insert for the Rockies. Taro. Sheldon Nice. Conforto and Archer. Appreciate the treasurer putting in good work tonight. Somewhat of an easy night. He knows during the week we just have two shows. So he only has to worry about the one before he can relax. Yep, now we just need the ink, Tyler. I'm working on it. I'm putting the order in. 
TJ Zoic, Zach Collins rookie, Giolito, fifth hole is going to be Keller, not typically a short print, not there either, DeYoung and Nunez, so let me just quickly check for the bazookas, and we'll do our chrome and we'll move on to the next box. Already two bazookas, so hopefully we get one more, I'm, I'm actually pretty happy when we get two bazookas in a half case show. We'll never turn away another one though. Minnesota up next. Ty wants to know if I remember the red ink for the printer. I did not, but I, I think we're good on it. I had to replace the, you know, the ink not that long ago. So I think, I think we're cool. So you're reading a forum where, where people were upset the breaker made a hundred profit on a single box break. What's your thoughts? Um, so here's my thought on that. If, if you are setting it to where it's like buy it nows and, and the breaker is profiting to a great extent, especially with one box, I, I may have a little bit of an issue with that, but when it is um, when it is bidding and you're kind of letting the world decide what the spot's worth, I don't have as much of a problem with it. And I say that because we've had shows where, well, like I, I told, so told some of you guys about the Bowman. We had a show where I lost $130 on a Bowman hobby break. I made $22 that night on Bowman Jumbo, so I had a net 110 loss. So you're going to have shows that do worse and better, and obviously you hope to come out ahead. But yeah, if you're setting like buy it nows and stuff and you're, you're trying to get a little crazy, I think that's that's kind of different to me. My opinion. JV, we've got color. Blue in color. We'll see if that's a blue or an indigo. Trastros. Ah, it's a blue. It's a 99. Check it out. 30 of 99. We're having some luck tonight with the Houston uh, uh, parallels and short prints. Nice one. One of the better pitchers, obviously, still in the game is JV. Let's put a little top loader on that one. It is number to 99 after all. Nice chrome. Very good, Mr. Spellman. Oh, yeah. So then, then I get it. Then I do get it if they're set that way. And there's a JV base with that one. Bets and JV. That I do kind of understand. You're talking about a single box break? I'd love to make... Uh, I don't know, five hundred dollars every time I do one of these. That'd be, that'd be amazing. I would never stop. I wouldn't sleep. No, you win some, you lose some. But but I guess in his case, if he sells all the spots, he's guaranteed to make money. So okay, you know, cool for him. But I can see how that would upset some folks. Box four out of five. Twenty eight minutes left on bidding for select. Yeah, Ross, really. If you if you can make a hundred dollars profit on a single box, we, we're all we all should be uh, all should be breaking. I can tell you that is not normally the case. You do have your anomaly shows where they go a little crazy, but uh, no, not uh, not the norm, my friend. Not the norm. I did um, when I was doing my uh, reconciliation, closing out the month of May. We're like family. I can tell you guys this. I paid almost $10,000 in eBay fees last month. I don't need any violins. We obviously had a good month, took in a lot of revenue, have a lot of shows, but that's a lot of money that eBay got from me. Michael Conforto, that is a logo swap. Very cool. Oh, I was just hoping for the double. Getting kind of greedy. Another Met short print, very nice. Get this one done here. Ross says, Hey, uh, how did you guys do on the Bowman First Edition? <sighs> I'm trying to remember how we did. We didn't lose, and I was actually kind of surprised because I bought that box when it was 800, and and then they fell to like 750, and I think they're like at 700. I was thinking that we could lose, and we didn't lose, but I don't think it made a lot. Hey, man. What's up? What's up? How are you? We're breaking some cards. You getting some bubble mailers? Yeah. All right. You want to say hi? No? I can. can if you want. Right. My uh, my little sister's boyfriend here, this is Dylan. Is that it? You're just going just gonna, to oh, just gonna wave and, and that was it? That's Dylan. Everybody's out of Dylan. Dylan's a gamer. You want to plug your stream real quick? Do you have, do you have a no, channel? I have a stream. Oh, you, okay. You're I just play Charles. You play with my brother, Elite yeah. Level? Yeah. Nice. My sister Madison's in the jewelry business. She sells that paparazzi jewelry online. You want to come say hi? Oh, you, you always look pretty. Come say hi to the people. 
people want to see you. Here. Where's the people? Hi. This is Madison, everybody. Everybody. That's everybody. Yeah, these are my people. We're doing uh, we're doing some shows. Fun. Having some fun. Sweet. Hey, for the wives, girlfriends, spouses, whatever, check out her channel. Check Ma it out. What is it? Madison's five dollar glitz, glitz galore. galore. On Facebook. Check it out. Five Madison's five dollar glitz galore. When are you going live next? I was supposed to get a package in today, so it's probably going to come in tomorrow. Sunday night? Yep, Sunday night. Guys, all our jewelry is five bucks. Check no matter how out. many pieces you buy, your shipping is five bucks. It's a, it's a heck of a deal. You come you come open up cards with us if you want. Oh Good to boy. see you, sissy. Not sure they're going to want me to do that. Oh, please. We have mouse open up cards all the time. There's an Ask the Dio fortune teller, Serial 2.0. Been a Williams and Peralta. You've never been in here before for a break, have you? Nope. It's your first time. It Everybody is. likes you, see? That's pretty good. New Nobody fans. Likes Nobody likes him. <laughs> no one wants Dylan. I don't. Uh, no one wants us there at Dylan. We can say hi to Madison, though. This is what I was telling you about earlier. Okay, cross your fingers, Sacento. This Lou Bob was in the fifth hole. Now, it could just be a rookie, but you know. Are you out of here? Yep. All right. Love you. See you, David. See you, Dylan. Be good. You guys know we have people come to this house all the time. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. We have people here all the time. So, Sento, yeah, so you say, come on. You know you know what I'm saying. There's a chance that this one could be a uh, bazooka. Good luck. Ah, doggone it. It's cool that you got it, but in that fifth hole, sometimes you never know. There it is. I know. Sorry to burst your bubble, but I had to point it out. I say Kikuchi, you say Kikuchi, we all say you say Kikuchi. Yeah, our house is always full of people. Between my kids, my siblings, my parents, friends, people that just, I don't know, they just show up. We let them in. Yeah, Sacento, it feels like a train station sometimes. <laughs> Looks like we've got a hit. There's an auto there. We'll set this down. Ross, yes, typically. Now, I will say, I've seen times where they weren't, but it's kind of rare. There's another Astadio. Typically, your fifth hole is going to include your hit. So we'll always check the backs, just in case, but in my experience, it, it's it's going to be card five. But I always want to show you guys, you know, at the end of each uh, box that we're checking them. Just never know. Spellman, it, it, Spellman, can the trout drought be over? I am ready for a trout auto. So ready. All right, I will tell you that it is not Trout, but I will tell you that it is a good one. It's a great one, and I'm excited to show you. What else is new? We printing bows, baby. How about that beautiful Bow Bichette Auto? Boom! It's the Yordan. It's the bow. This show is lit. Yeah, baby. Bow Bichette Rookie Auto. And that sucker is so clean. Look at that auto. Look at that card. Michael Short print with your bow bichettes. You guys know we print bows around here. Blue Jays, always a good investment on the show. Oh, baby. It's bow. Ha <laughs> ha. Check it out. Love it. Beautiful bow bichette. Michael Short print with the Bo Bichette. Yes, we will put him on the wall, of course. We move these packs over just a little bit, make some room for our buddy Bo. Good to see you again, Bo. Like having him as part of the show tonight. Woohoo! Do you have a Bo yet, Spellman? I can't remember if we pulled you a Bo before. Or is that going to be your, uh, your first Bo from us, anyway? Yeah, yeah. Having some fun and a Boba Shet base. Base rookie. Fifth hole was Hunter Dozier. Don't see anything with that one. Lambert, there's the goat. Mike Trout and a Lorenzen. Yeah, he's doing good. He is doing good. Josh wants an Aquino. I've pulled several Aquinos in the past, man. I love me some Aquino in here. Love his auto. I, I love that card. I would love for the trifecta and get you an Aquino auto. Here we go. We got a we got a missing nameplate. I believe that is Alex Colomay. It is. 
Card number 44 in the set, Chicago White Sox, Sacinto. While we're on Lou Bob Watch, we might may as well get you a missing nameplate. That is Alex Colomay. Yes, Sacinto said six base trout sold for 10 bucks. That's great. That is great. CC pulling for a Lux. Let's get a let's get a nice trio tonight. There's a there's a few other real big uh, prospect autos that we'd like to see. Had some great luck with these cases. TJ Zoic, Zach Collins rookie, Ketel Marte, Matt Olson. We've got a tarot insert. That's going to be Rafi Devers, nickname the world there. John Means, Guerrero, and Matthew Boyd. Sacento sells team and player sets. Nice. Oh, good. Spellman, first uh, Gypsy Bow. Good. Add to the add to the old PC. There's an Alzale rookie for the Cubbies. Oh, got another hit. There we go. Spellman, I can tell you all about the eBay fees, man. I am a, I'm on top of that. After we do the hit, I will uh, tell you all about it. There is a McKay for the Tampa Bay Rays. Spellman calling for Trout. It's the hashtag Trout Drought. I know he's hard to pull, but doggone it, we're seven nights a week. We open up a lot of tops. I want to see a Trout. All right, here we go. Best of luck, friends. Not bad. Nice rookie, Aaron Savali. Cleveland Indians, Michael Short Print. You have got the on card auto there. Promising rookie. He was higher up in the top 100 than I thought he was. I think in Bowman we got to learn about that. Nice Savali. Like this one. There's what that one looks like. Get that one in the recap for you, Mr. Spellman. So the way the fees work. Uh, most categories work like this, but let's talk. Let's talk the sports categories. Let's talk the cards categories, right? eBay is a flat ten percent fee. That is your final value fee. So if you sell something for hundred bucks, you pay them ten bucks, right? Then on top of that, you have listing fees. Now, if you don't list like crazy, usually your first two hundred listings per month are free. You can get in on that. Otherwise, you're gonna pay thirty five cents. Oh, this is sweet. I gotta pause. Dude, check it out, Spellman. That's a Vlad Guerrero Jr. missing nameplate. That one is sick. Oh, man, are you kidding me? What a nice card. That's, that's the right guy, dude. We're going to top load this one, too. Wow. Missing nameplate, Vlad. Sweet. I got to open up some more top loaders for this one. Hang on. I'll, I'll continue the eBay discussion while I'm while I'm getting this ready for us. So, you're gonna pay after your free 200 listings a month. You're gonna and you may not you know it depends on how how much volume you may not get over that. But if you do, it's 35 cents to list, five and seven day auctions. You will pay a premium when you want a one day, three day, or ten day auction. So you kind of like we stick to five day auctions. So you're gonna pay the 10 percent. And you're going to pay a 35 cent listing fee after the first 200. It's not just eBay though. Now you got to factor in PayPal. PayPal charges 2.9 percent. I believe it's still 2.9. You guys can check me on that if you want. 2.9 percent on your payment that comes in. But they also charge a 30 cent transaction fee per transaction. So can add up real fast. So here's here's the way I look at it. I say that when I make a sale, it's 12.9% between eBay and PayPal that they get. And then you've got a 35 cent listing fee, maybe on eBay you have to add, and a 30 cent transaction fee for PayPal. And that's it. 12.9% plus 30 and maybe 35 cents for the eBay listing fee. And that's how you know. You can, you can hit a calculator and see if it's worth it. Cat's in the chat. Cat says, Hur. "What's going on, Cat? Cat, aren't you swimming right now? Are you in, are you at the parent swimming pool? I saw. I got to see him earlier. He swung by and said hi to me before the show, right before the show, actually. And he was going to head off to the parents and do some swimming. Here's an Austin Meadows in the fifth hole. 
not bazooka. Oh, negative, not swimming. Okay. That's cool, dude. Actually, that wasn't Meadows in the fifth. I'm sorry. I counted wrong. It was Santander in the fifth hole. Not a short print there either, though. Sheldon, nice rookie on the way out. Yep, that's the history of eBay fees. Yeah, I know what you're doing. That's part of the... Oh, huh. Shohei decided to jump out in the fifth hole. Let's just call this one out. He can hit. He can pitch. It's Shohei Otani. Fortune teller. Nice. Yep, I know what you're doing. That may be part of the uh, Diamonds. Uh, I told him that there's a big announcement from Diamond tonight uh, when he comes here. As long as he can still make it here, do some breaking. Uh, he's going to tell everybody what he's up to. And I do know where you are. Rob was sniped again. Dang it. Yeah, maybe you should have buy your own box, right? Dang it. A little sniping going on tonight. Diaz, is it? Diaz? Put your hands on the oodles and noodles. Chicken and beef. Chicken. Rookie card. We've got color. It's going to be Brock Holt, Boston Red Sox. Spellman says, not me. Spent enough money tonight. That's the 250, so that's going to be the Indigo. Indigo for Boston. Sean S., you've got the... Brock Holt Indigo. Nice. Not me. I didn't do it, he said. Can't blame me. Rendon for the Halos. Fifth spot's Jake Fraley. Nothing there. I'm on the cap program. I'm actually a little behind. Invoices have to go out in what, 13 minutes or so? May not make that. Ace of Wands, JV, that's a tarot. Savali, Dylan Cease, and Christian Vasquez. What a break so far. Yep, 1130 Eastern on that break. You got it. Jake Rogers, Mondesi, Dubon. Our fifth hole, nice. Bo Bichette. Bo Bichette, that's a fortune teller. Rookie card, Michael Spellman and your Blue Jays. Of course, got the Bo Bichette auto a few minutes ago. We'll add a fortune teller insert to that one. Spiffy says, Cat, if you're still in the chat, he got the one of one Urania printing plate. There's a fortune teller, Vladdy. Nice one. Gonna have to do some despicable things to that one, cat. We know the treatment you give base cards. The one of one ought to be epic. And I said earlier in the show, I'm glad it's a printing plate that we destroy because that particular plate can no longer make Uranias. We will officially retire that printing plate. Fifth hole is going to be Sean Murphy, rookie. Not short printed there. Stanton, Contreras, and Bubba Starling. The darling Bubba Starling. Ah, cat still in the chat. Yamamoto, rookie. Fifth hole, there we go. There's a legend. Boston Red Sox. Sean S., you have got the Carl Yastrzemski. That is a beautiful legendary card there. Card number 306 on the checklist. Love it. Well done. I'm going to top load this one for you. Tyler's wondering what Diamond might reveal. Well, I think this group especially will be excited about what he's going to share. There's another Aquino. So Josh, you've got another Aquino. I haven't pulled you the auto yet. We still, have, we still have some opportunities, but another nice base Aquino coming your way. And Aaron Nola. Who got Seattle in this break or in the next one, Matthew J? I don't know about the next one. Fifth hole here is going to be Mitch Garver. I'm going to check and see. I don't see anything on that one. It doesn't appear to be short printed. There's an Acuna, Dahl, and Thor. Yep, Tyler, still another box left. Yeah, I can tell you who got Seattle on this one, but not the, not the next one. Not the next one. 
Christian Walker, Brandon Dixon, Crush Davis. Here's a Buster Posey in that fifth hole. Cross our fingers, no bazooka. Escobar, Webb, and Heaney. Halos. Oh, they're ending weirdly. Is it like like kind of like a snipe thing, like like the last second thing, or there's a moron with a J rookie. Tommy Edmond is going to be in our fifth hole here for the Cardinals, not Bazooka. Longoria, Swanson, and Fernandez. Last pack of box four. I'll have to speed us up a little bit and get ready for that select break in that last box, but we'll, you'll still see every card. Logan Allen, Cabrera, Trey Turner, Hanley Ramirez, and our fifth card is going to be the World, Starling Marte. That's an insert. The Assassin, Urshela, and Schwarber. Let me check for bazookas real quick, and then we will check our, uh, our Chrome card, Chrome Topper. I already got two tonight. Someone's toying with us, Matthew J. Ending a little strange. Nothing there. Last stack. Oh, Matt L got in on the Cardinals. Sorry about St. Louis. Matt L says, I want to play. I like some select. <laughs> And Matt L., I don't know if you were here earlier for the announcement. Diamond Dave is going to be here. Going to be uh, going to be doing a little breaking tonight. I'll be in the background. He's going to get his uh, get his feet wet here. Not sure if he's going to do the whole break. I'm just leaving it up to him. He can do whatever he wants. Here's our Chrome for pack or box four. Oh, check it out! Right on top. Check out that Vladdy. Nice. Nice, Vladdy. And it's the Indigo. That is number eight of 150 on the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Indigo Chrome Topper. Nice one there, Spellman. Let me go ahead and sleeve that guy up for you. Beautiful card. Gary Sanchez and uh, Mondesi. Alberto Mondesi. On those. Very nice. That's why you got in the break. Love it. Get to have some Diamond Dave time tonight. And Matt, you know his big announcement, but he's going to tell the rest of the world tonight what he's been up to. Tampa Bay, weird, 28-69 final. Yeah, kind of weird numbers. A little, little different. Sometimes I like to put weird numbers in, though. A lot of times you win the auctions that way. You got a lot of people doing just kind of increments of 50 cents or 25 cents you throw in some weird number like that you might just score it all right box five we're done with this one we'll be into this uh into this half case we'll get into the other half i'm not sure when if we have time i'll check the schedule for you just keep watching spellman it will be yep it will be i'm sure he will tell us very quick and then get his feet wet cracking some cards so if you can hang around hang around fifth hole here oh this is a nice one keston Hira, milwaukee brewers you've got the missing nameplate and it's a it's a star i mean keston here is really up and coming very sick spellman that's your brew crew cereal is back williams astadio and his seven chins It's like we have just a few more minutes on select. Imagine Toronto and Washington are still up. There's a Bo. Hey, Bo. Another Bo Bichette. Oh, that's right. We don't have to sleeve that one. I always forget. For Michael Spellman, there's a Hunter Dozier in the fifth hole. Not a bazooka. Trout, the goat. And Michael Lorenzen. Matthew J., you might be on the right track. You've got an idea. I will not confirm nor deny. I'm going to save the big news for Diamond. Fifth hole. There we go. There is a Jordan Alvarez fortune teller. That's the first one we've seen tonight. I will sleeve this one. Uh, Tyler, you can probably wait. You can probably wait. If, if I screw up, just shoot me a message, but I, I, I'll probably get it right tonight. 
Yelly there. Yep, soon enough, Matthew J. 50, uh, about 35 minutes until the announcement, or so. He's going to get the show started and everything. He's going to he's gonna do the. I'll be right here behind him, but he's going to do the whole thing. There's a Dustin May rookie. Fifth hole's Matt Olson for Oakland. Not Bazooka. Vladdy, second year, and a Matt Boyd. Munoz for the pod squad. Nola. Polanco. Jalen Davis. Oh, hang on. Oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. Did you see what that was? Okay, that is not your normal bazooka back. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hang on. Guys. Guys. 14 of 25. That is a rare bazooka auto. Oh my gosh. I'm setting it down. I'm going to I'm going to stay with tradition. Oh, I'm nervous as can be. Abreu, Matt and Albies. Oh my goodness. Okay. Guys, this is what we play for. This is what we play for, the rare auto bazooka back. It's rare to 25. I'm going to take a look. All right, here we go. Good luck, friends. And that is Paul DeYoung. Paul DeYoung, St. Louis Cardinals. Michael Spellman, you've got the Cardinals tonight. And you have scored the uber rare. Bazooka back to 25. Guys, you just don't... This is only the second one we've seen like this. The other one we saw, uh, Spellman actually won that one. It was the, uh, it was the judge. Cardinals, what a hit. The Paul DeYoung Bazooka back auto to 25. What a winner that one is. Got to put this one up on the wall. Don't ever see the Bazookas to 25. But we saw it tonight. What a show. We are killing it tonight. Love it for you guys. Love seeing the rare stuff. Diamond actually just walked in. I heard him behind me. What's going on, chumps? So we will have a diamond <coughs> start to our next show. I've been pumping him up for your announcement. There's, oh, is that right? Uh-huh. All right. Justin Dunn, rookie in the fifth hole. Not going to be bazooka What a hit on the DeYoung rare, rare, rare bazooka back auto to 25. Oh, nice. That is sick. We've got the Bo Bichette auto tonight. We've got the Jordan right. Alvarez auto tonight. What? This show is fire. <laughs> Starlin Castro is going to be our color in this pack. Number to 250, that's the Indigo. Spellman, that's your Nationals. Wow. Oh, what a show. We rolled good dice, friends. Wow, sure did. Fran Milreyes, there's another Nico rookie. And a Juan Soto. Wow. Matt L says, tell Diamond we are ready for him tonight. Washington just closed at 41. There's a Bo Bichette, another Bo Bichette, nice. Wheel of Fortune insert. That's the Tarot. Brantley and Rosario. Bidding is now closed. Thank you, Matthew J. The treasurer can close the book on select. Diamond, we're running a little behind because when you have this many hits, here's an auto coming I see, too. I see that you still got some packs to go. Yeah, on. when we have the hits, wow. we, we have to slow down. We have got the big hits tonight. Man, you got some stuff standing up there on those stands. We sure do. Here we go, friends. Good luck. That is Corey Dickerson, Philadelphia Phillies, and Ben B with your Phillies. You've got that beautiful Corey Dickerson blue ink on card auto gonna get this one top loaded for you my man kind of hard to follow that one Corey Dickerson's not a not a bad one to get but uh shoot when you got the Paul DeYoung bazooka to 25 auto you don't want to be the next guy Dubon rookie way to go Ben yep Ross now you see why people like the product 
So Sinto says, Louis, Lubob Redemption Dream is over. Uh -huh. wah, wah, wah. <clears throat> We've not pulled a Lubob Redemption out of Gypsy this year. We've done several cases. There's a Yordan. Zach Gallon rookie. Lopes. Tim Lopes. There's a Max Scherzer fortune teller. Frankie Lindor, Alcantara, and Gratterall. These guys know i got to speed it up a little bit, unfortunately. Hate to do that, but the big the big hits took the time. Howie Kendrick, Hernandez, Bogarts. Our fifth hole is going to be a... You know, he's in the legendary checklist, but I don't understand why. you got guys like Yastrzemski and Babe Ruth and Chipper and all these great players, and you got Deion Sanders. He's the only one that, that we, we scratch our head and go, okay, okay, I know he played football, I know he played he baseball. He made an appearance, that's about it. Yeah, he made an appearance. Yeah. But Josh, Joshua P., your Reds, you've got the Dion. See, he's over 300. He's, he's in the short print checklist. Wow. Yeah. That's fine. It's a big name. Big name in sports. <laughs> Dion! Josh says, let's go prime time, baby! Yeah. With the time. Dion. That's it. Our fifth hole is going to be Sean Murphy. We've seen him in the five spot before, not Bazooka. Stanton, Contreras, and Starling. So that actually makes three Bazooka backs tonight. When you count the auto, that's uh, kind of nice. Kind of nice. Just another cherry on top on a great show. Cabrera's in the five hole. Not uh, Bazooka. Sometimes he's short printed. I don't see anything on there on that one. Yeah, not uh, not much of a baseball legend. Yeah, Spellman, um, you know our second breaks usually even go better than our first on this product, so I'm kind of excited about the second half. Gio Urshela, look at that. Spellman's Yankees, that is a logo swap. Another nice one for the Yanks. Nice short print there. Digging it. Way to go, Spellman. Nice haul tonight for you, sir. But that's what happens. You bid on... Uh, you bid on a bunch of teams, some high-priced teams, and you get uh, you get paid. Especially on a on a break like this, a lot of big hits. Lazardo, rookie. Fifth hole is going to be Yu Chang, not short printed. Savali, Cease, and Vasquez. I'm kind of doing you guys like normal breakers now. Yeah, I'm 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 not well. I'm not going as fast, but. No, they, they just fly. Yeah. Hanley Ramirez in the five hole. They not short printed. Half of the names. No, they don't say all the names. Diamond's they don't right. Say half the names. Spiffy was telling us that uh, he was in a break the other night where he got an Oakland A number to ten and they hardly even mentioned it. I mean just wow. flew by flew by it, said the name, it's number to ten, kept going. Oh my god. Tatis, that's a fortune teller. Nice one there for the pods. Melinda T, your Padres. Judge, Eshelman, and Springer. Oh yeah, Matt L. You know I never do the four pack. I never do the four pack one on uh, on Gypsy. I, honestly, I love them too much. <laughs> I want to go slow on them. Here is a black and white. So this one's gonna be number to fifty. It's a Houston Trastro. That's Guriel. Forty two out of fifty for the Trastros. Spellman, we'll add this short print to your haul tonight. And a Brendan McKay. Always sleeve up the McKays. Very nice. Lawrence, what's up, dude? You're in from the lake. Nice. Take, take a break. Chill. Watch some chomps. We're a little over time on this one. Our next break's in 25 minutes. It's going to be select. Diamond Dave will be in the house helping us out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Fifth hole is going to be Santander, the Orioles, not a short print. Sheldon Nice. Check out the board behind, Lawrence. Bo, Jordan. We got a Paul DeYoung Bazooka Auto to 25. Torres to 50. Listella to 10. It's been just a great show. Ravello, rookie in the five hole. Arias, Cruz, and Arietta. It is, man, and that's the bazooka to 25. That's the really rare one. Look. Dude, this one's sick. 
I thought about you when we pulled it. <laughs> that Lawrence is going to kick himself for not getting the Cardinals tonight. More on with a J rookie. We've got, oh, another legend. Nice. Pirates, James R. You have got the Robert. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I just I just turned it just to make sure it wasn't bazooka. This short print Clemente is a is a bazooka. Nice. Oh my goodness. James R and your pirates. This one is sick. Another candidate for the big bite of the night. Wow. Roberto Clemente. Spellman can't believe it. Four bazookas in one half K show. Spellman, I can't believe it either. And it's Clemente. Wow. Guys, this is a break to remember. You don't see this in full case, much less half case. Spellman's onto something. Could be a legit hot case. Yep, Spellman says confirm hot case. Shohei Otani, he can hit, he can pitch. He's Shohei. Diaz, is it? Diaz? Hey, put your hands on the oodles and noodles. All right. Chicken and beef. Oh. Chicken. Rookie card. Chops, y'all got all the same. Man, this is why we, we were slow on here. Acuna <laughs> fortune teller. Yeah, I can't I can't fly oh, wow. and do all my shticks either. Oh, my God. It's not going to happen. Nice. Matthew J says, that's the most bazookas I've seen in even a case, much less a half case. Wow, look at Spellman with the emojis. Yeah, Spellman uh, is crushing it tonight. It's on fire right there. Spellman's got most of these cards up here. He's killing Good job, it. MS. Hey, Lou Bob. There you go, Sacinto. We'll get you a little parting gift on the way out here. That's a Lou Bob. What, fourth or fifth tonight? I figure we get at least four. Matt L says chicken. Chicken! <laughs> Spiffy says beef. CC Matt says L, beef. Matt L, what's up, baby? I say Kikuchi. You say Kikuchi. We all say you say Kikuchi. All right, there's another one. There's another one. We got a lot Man, of them around we here. We got a lot of them. I'm going to learn some of these things here. <laughs> <laughs> got Diamond Dave in the house. Going to be Man. kicking off Select for us tonight. Everybody saying hello. Yeah. Love these guys. Yeah, Sacento maybe maybe didn't uh, get get uh, the price back on that one, but uh, Spiffy. keep trying, dude, man. <laughs> Lawrence, it's your first time meeting Diamond Dave. You're gonna sp stay on this next show. You're gonna see more of them. Look, I'll check for bazookas. You know as well as I. Four. It's not. We're not gonna get another one. But let's check for transparency. We got a Chrome pack to do. Quick recap, and uh, we're running very behind on select. Spiffy, how you doing, buddy? Lawrence, good to meet you, my friend. All right. Hey, nice to see you back, too, Matt. That was one of the greatest guys ever. That's he? amazing. Oh, my gosh. He's a founding he father. He's the godfather. Gentleman. That's his nickname here. He is a gentleman. You talk about a passion for this sport. Godfather of oh chomps, my. Matt L. Yeah, he, he's he is. Godfather. That's his godfather. It's his nickname here. I like it. He deserved it. Yep. Yes. All right. No, unfortunately, not a fifth bazooka. I think we'll Ross look. Gray, what's up, my man? Let's go, he says. Let's, Let's do get it. with it. Let's do it. <laughs> nice. Uh, you don't have to send them, Cat. I appreciate you asking. I'm gonna I'm gonna work with Diamond a little bit on that. Check it out. Aaron Nola for a Chrome is to 150. That's gonna be the Indigo. Again, blue is to 99. Indigo is to 150. Philadelphia Ben B. Nice parting <clears throat> gift. The Ben. Uh, the I'm sorry. The Aaron Nola for Ben. AJ Puck. Yes. Nice. Puck. Yeah. Uh, Michael hey. Spellman. Sweet. With the Puck. Yeah. I love that. Love it. And then a Whit Merrifield. That will round out the break. Let me do a quick recap for you guys. And we will announce our Chomps Big Bite of the Night. Very hard to do tonight. I think every Chrome Pack did have color. I think you're right about that. All right. We lead off with Eugenio Suarez with the blowing the big bazooka gum with the bazooka <laughs> back. Nice. Very nice. Vlad Guerrero Jr., that is a short print legend for the Nationals. Oh, my God. Spellman got... He, 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 he killed it tonight. Dude, he tore... This is the Spellman show. Nico Horner. Tonight. Auto rookie. Sean Kingery. Black and white to 50. Houston. Jackie for the Dodgers. Oh, short print. Days. Uh Allard for the Rangers. Nice one for Linda H. Goodness. How about Pete Alonzo, the Jackie Robinson Day? This one could have absolutely been up on the... On the big board. That's the Alonzo Jackie Robinson. Will Smith, that's the auto. Nice. Babe Ruth, short wow, print. Look at that, man. Love this oh, one. Oh, my gosh. 
The Assassin, the B2 Bomber, B Squared, that is Bobby Bradley, Beautiful. auto rookie. Albert Alzale, Cubbies rookie. Nice auto. JV, that is 299, that is the blue chrome. Aaron Savali, nice rookie for the Indians. Vlad Guerrero Jr., missing nameplate. That's a nice one. Nice yeah, variation. variation right there. And the right guy to get, too. Yeah. Carl Yastrzemski, Red Sox. Legend there. Corey Dickerson. Nice and, of one. course, you just saw the Dion. But we have these as well, friends. Glaber, this is the gold chrome all the way down to 50. Right guy, too. My halos, your halos, our halos. It's the Tommy LaStella red down to 10. Ooh. Love seeing the reds. We've got oh. a trash throw here, Jose Altuve with the bazooka back. And like it or not, he's a star. He's a star. El Gigante. El Gigante. Yeah. Roberto Clemente. There's my man for my day. And bazooka. That, listen. Sweet card. James R., if you're in the chat and you Love see it. this, if you're a seller of this card, shoot me a message. Love it. If you want to sell it, I'll give you a good price. I like this card. That is a great card. I collect those double variations. All right. <laughs> How do you... Jeez, what, what, what do you do? How about <laughs> Bo Bichette Auto? Oh, wow. James, good to see you, man. Thank you for being in this break. Happy to have you. Our Chomps Big Bite of the Night will be between these two, friends. That is the Jordan oh, and my. the Paul DeYoung. Hey, go. Kylie. Good to see you, Kylie. Our Big Bite of the Night, simply due to scarcity, friends, is going to be the Paul DeYoung... That is the ultra-rare wow, Bazooka 20, to 25 auto Cardinals and Michael Spellman, your haul. It's, Sir, it's, you it's. have won the Chomps Big Bite of the Night. Congratulations, and it's fitting on the night. You send me your airborne patch off of his military oh, uniform. Oh, did he really? That's for me. Well, I didn't know that. Thank you for your service, my man. He wins Big Bite, wow. and he had quite the haul. This was the Spellman night right here. Another Michael Spellman night. Guys, thank Jeez. you so much. As I always say, I hope you got what you want, wow. wanted. If you didn't, I hope you at least have fun because that's what it's all about. Check us out in uh, Select 18 minutes from now. You've officially been chomped.